YouTubers, Gerald Cross back for the fourth motherfucking time today to bring you your evening assassinations at 8.20 at, at night. Let's jump in, shall we? Probably should have uh, loaded this up first, but I will uh, pay for those consequences later, hopefully. Hello, Mr. Handsome. As you guys can already see, I'm already, you know, two singletons away from finishing the entire game. I cannot wait for Assassin's Creed Origins Desert Oath. That is going to be one sick ass Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed is one of my favorite genre or series, I should say, favorite series. Out of most series they have on PlayStation and Microsoft. As you can see, I've uh, basically already got my assassinations cloak. You don't know what that shit is. <laughs> if you guys give me one second. One moment. All right, gonna hop back in here. See how it's going. I don't know why they set it up like this. You gotta run to make the your animus, as they call it, go a little bit faster for loading process. I think that's pretty silly. Anyway, here we are, good old Britain. London, I should say. Today, I was going to do some regular memories until I had enough so that I could take on the other ones. But for now, we'll do some Charles Dickens. If you guys don't know who that is, he's referenced very funny on Family Guy. <laughs> Go ahead and get cold. Am I wearing green and red? It's not fucking Christmas. It's Halloween, you jackass. Why would I put something this, this ludicrous on? Bad enough people see me and don't alert the uh, proper authorities. Apparently, he's somewhere in here. Ah, uh, he's in the bar. I did all of that for fucking nothing. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Come on, Dickens. You got this. There's been a spate of rather intriguing thefts about town recently. Robberies. I wish I could uh, turn down the game singing, cause that lady sounds like shit. <laughs> See if uh, we can turn down her voice. Or you know what? I don't care anymore. You guys will just have to deal with it. I never thought I'd see the day. They looked like common robberies at first, but these perpetrators have all claimed to have been under the influence of some supernatural power. I'm not so foolish. Apparently, I have to go into the police station, which. I think is a pretty dangerous place for an assassin. <laughs> for all the killing and all. But who the fuck cares what I think? Uh, 
lucky there's an illustration right here. I'm currently just trying to, you know, I don't think no one's ever collected everything there is to collect in any Assassin's Creed thing game. They usually just, eh, do it later and then never get around to it, you know. Apparently, I have to go speak to this idiot. Which, once again, I don't think this is a... What the fuck are you doing, man? Back up there. We have a mission. Oh, my God. This guy's a fucking moron. Sometimes I hate that they do their own thing. It's really annoying. Hopefully, one day we can get a couple of people watching. This floor above me. Fuck out of my way. What get ya? Alright. What's this one in for? Rob the pawnbrokers down the road. A demon made me do it. I can't remember much. That's what's so queer. I've never stolen anything in my life before. Now I gotta go talk to the pawn shop. It's not down the street, that's Fuck, what the hell? Why? <laughs> I don't see why. Anyway, let's get back on track. You know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and play with Evie. Just because of I like her, uh... I got one of her... I got her best... Cosmetic. Ugh. Can't do it in the middle of a fucking memory. This means you bastards are stuck with this ugly swinging bastard. He's trying to be Spider-Man. That is me trying to be Spider-Man. What are you doing? Alright, well that's not gonna work. Let's see if we can... <sighs> I think I'm just gonna get in a uh, carriage. What the fuck are you doing? Get in the carriage, man. Alright. the hell out of the way. That my reckless driving, because I can't drive worth a you about the robbery there's not much to say most of the items did come from the same seller Enzio Capelli sorcerer supreme the famous showman from Italy several weeks ago he was forced to pawn his family heirloom. sorceress Debts. they I'll used to the burn you people at stakes something of his fuck that all you can buy why are you still practicing magic not again. thought you would have learned your lesson stop. Somebody stop that ah, thief. fuck your ass back here. Wow, the first guy in this game to ever run faster than me. First ever thief. Wish I could throw a knife at his kneecap from here. They should really include that in future Assassin's Creed games where if you're good enough you can just while running smack him dead in the fucking face. Hopefully they slow down. I doubt it. Hot on his fucking ass. You're not getting away from me, fellow thief. I mean, uh, I'm no thief, I'm just a fucking assassin. That ass back here. Now, why are you wearing a dress? What's happening? You were just indulging in a little like theft. It's all very hazy, but oh, it's a woman. <laughs> this one, this old woman one's very fast. Next thing I know, I'm here with you. Back on track. Now to find this buyer. <laughs> Let's not be so hasty this time.
apparently he's went into this house full of uh, gang members. Probably just gonna have to repel up. have to tell him without getting spotted and climb on the same cart as the thief. Well, they continue to make this interesting at least. Hopefully one of my future almost finished missions are the fucking Am Palace. Watch him from a distance so he doesn't spot me. Because I can't even be looked at, apparently. I hear a chest. I'll get a letter. Well, that was simple. Got the first part of my objective complete. <laughs> now I just gotta tell this little bastard. Wow. Great driving skills, Henry. Whatever the fuck your name is. Can't believe you let this drunk bastard drive you around. <laughs> I don't think uh, I can handle that. How? How did he see me? Fuck that. I won't accept it. I refuse. That was ridiculous. <laughs> I don't see how he saw me. You know what I should have did? I should have climbed on the cart, waited till it recognized that I got that objective completed, and then just got off and got it to another carriage. Me and my stupidity. Hopefully, uh, some of you will uh, tune in in the future. Hit that share and, uh, not share. That subscribe and uh, like button and the notification bar to let you know when I upload more videos or when I start streaming again clearly. Sorry about the speech impediment guys, I have uh, it's not Tourette's, I have um, a stuttering speech impediment so in the future if you guys hear any of that, I apologize for that in the future. You're welcome to laugh, I've uh, Pretty much, I already got over that shit. <laughs> Don't really care who makes fun of me for it anymore. As I'm in the middle of a uh, very important mission telling this person, gonna change my color. Cause I do not know why the hell I'm wearing green. Ubisoft Blue. 
Yeah. Guess I will be wearing no color. I forgot how many guards are down there. comes in this shit. Wait till he hops in his mobile. Yeah. As soon as we get by some other carts, I'm gonna hop off of this thing because for some reason he can hear me. See me when he gets out. It's right around the corner there. Don't know how it hasn't registered that I climbed on the same car to some area. As soon as I get my first fucking chance. Driver. That's what I should have I, I should have became the driver. That's what I probably should have been. Not a ghost, not a demon, but the great Enzio Capelli. You are very much mistaken. Aren't you, my child? Yes, yes. I, I am very much mistaken. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. You are very much mistaken. And now you are so very, I don't see, very um, how. A high-class assassin yes, I'm can be hypnotized. Very, I would uh, hope that my mentor yeah. trained me in uh, not falling for these stupid tricks. But it clearly I'm dumb I'm enough choosing. to keep looking. So we'll just uh, keep going here. <laughs> What's going on? Where the devil am I? You've been arrested for theft. How very intriguing. I don't remember a damn thing. <laughs> Let's get you out of here. I've pulled a few strings and they won't prosecute on account of your losing your mind. Be free, little chicken. Once again, high class assassin falls for stupid tricks. Trying to uh, gain up enough money so that uh, so I can buy some of the things that I really desperately need. Where am I? No idea. Is this a cart race? I feel like it's a cart race. Is it a cart race? No, it looks like... Fight Club! 
triathlon. Ah, those are the five club symbols. Okay. All right, Charles Darwin, show me something I haven't seen before. Anything of interest? That's what you need, you too. 500 fucking tokens. Mind you, I have not looted from them in so long. <sighs> You guys can see my driving skills have decreased impeccably. Alright, that was unnecessary, Mr. Jacob Fry. Hello. What's it called again? Um, Salix Alpha. There it is. Lithocarpus Fagus Silver. I gotta go protect the fucking fossil. These are what my skills as an assassin have been boiled down to. Rock protecting. Hopefully a uh This fossil is actually worth it. I didn't know you had a twin sister, Mr. Fry. Evie Fry, sir. It's a pleasure. Usually I would reciprocate the sentiment, Miss Fry, but today I'm afraid nothing will bring me pleasure. What's troubling you, sir? I am used to people challenging my ideas. In fact, I live for it, the cut and thrust of spirited debate. Lately, however, Guess attacks against my reputation have taken a dark turn. Threats of violence against my person and against my colleagues. I do not wish anyone to be hurt because of my research. You help me with steric syrup. I am in your debt. We help each other, sir. My brother and I will make sure that you can continue your work in peace. What do you know of bones? I know how much pressure it takes to shatter, snap, or splinter one. Hmm. Perhaps it would be simpler if I just explained the situation. A few days ago, a German colleague, Dr. Schwartz, sent me a telegram. He informed me he was on his way to London to deliver a very important fossil, you see. In fact, he should arrive at Charing Cross any moment now. Would you ensure no harm comes to him? I suppose I can make sure nothing happens to your nerd. Fuck. I'm gonna first find a way in before I locate him. Do believe this is my way in. I gotta remain undetected. I probably should have did this one with my uh, with uh, Evie, just because she is like three times as many. Uh, I mean, twice as many throwing knives, and I really, really. I believe I use those more than any other weapon in Assassin's Creed. Fuck. Couldn't have found me a place that's down. Well, time to die. Clearly. Seems I must uh, 
go in the old-fashioned way using doors like regular people. Even though assassins, strong fingers runs in my blood. Now who would have thought I would have came in this fucking way? Ooh, there's a cool chest back here. I want to go collect it. Is that below? It is. How the f You know what? I'm not even going to try to get to that right now. I'm going to look on YouTube. See how to... Uh... Okay. Yeah, maybe we'll have to start sneaking around just a bit. this guy is like what's happening to you <laughs> I was gonna kill him the less people there are around to stop me the easiest this will be I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kill the few god Peek back out here. Oh my god, I'm not trying to run down. I want to run up. Thank you. I really hate how in some of the games they have it to where the character won't always do what you want them to. What's a German dog? Someone's underneath this floor. Coming with me. The meaning of this. I'm collecting you and your precious cargo for our friend Mr. Darwin. Just act naturally. Right. So, how is your father? By which I mean my dear brother Frank, with whom I grew up, of course. What a German oh, you're splendid. To look anyway. Wonderful to hear. I'll do my best not to call attention to how the remiss it was in forgetting to warn me about the delicate Wouldn't situation which brings me here today.
fucking everywhere. Slow you move. Decreases the bubble. Good. It, it amazes me that some people will try this and. Dr. Schwartz? Ah, fuck. Come here, you pasta. I'll run you off the road. Your choice, imposter. We do this the hard way, or we do it the very hard way. Get out of the way, you mumbling idiot. be impostering anyone else not with one foot in the grave now to take this fossil to Darwin don't even need your body I'm gonna switch to Eevee Fry. Only because I like the outfit that I worked really hard for. It took me almost a week to... Oh my god. <laughs> See what I mean? At last, my heart hasn't stopped pounding. You have it? Wonderful. But where is Dr. Schwartz? Most likely dead, I'm afraid. He never left Germany. At least I managed to get the fossil back. Dear Lord, I should tell you, I was recently approached by men who sought to purchase all my research on the condition I work only for them. Obviously, I refused. Scientific knowledge cannot be bought. It belongs to everyone. Let these villains do their worst. Find it. Hopefully we get something good in this gold chest here. Let's find out. Come on. Water pearl? I don't even know what the fuck that is. Sounds like a crafting object. <laughs> Got a double D. Darwin and Dickens. Kind of want to do a big mission right now, though. Hopefully soon we get to go to Buckingham Palace. I want to meet the fucking queen. She's on my list of people to frog as an assassin. <laughs>
know why I did that sudden turn there, but. Is that the coppers? Fuck, that was the coppers. Get the hell out of here. Jesus Christ. I don't even think I have the money to reload any of that. So I can buy more. Oh, cool, there's one. Right there. Goodbye, my old friend. Jesus Christ, I've killed my friend. About to ask, where is this asshole, man? Too bad I can't play with Eevee on this mission. I'll get one of her missions in a minute though. Jacob hunts for Prime Minister Disraeli at the Sinopian Club to trust the mysterious B who is planning Disraeli's assassinations. Mm, Disraeli, you bad man. Looks like we're going to have to uh, teach Mr. Disraeli a lesson. Oh, we got one watcher. Welcome to the channel. Drop a comment, subscribe, and like if you would, please. Bring other people in here if that also suits your needs. It would definitely suit mine. All right, B. Who are you and what's your game? Yes, B. Let's find out, bitch. All right, Disraeli. Lead me to your sluts. Someone's obviously bored enough to watch my boring posts. Thank you very much. Drop a comment so I know who you are, if you don't mind. Like I'll be dealing with the coppers in this one. <laughs> that really fucking sucks. I really didn't want to have to. Didn't want to have to kill any policemen. It looks like I'll have to. They've ignored some of my uh, extracurricular activities. Ah, oh, they left.
as you guys can see I'm wasting no more but one maybe two well if it isn't my dear old chum Mr. Disraeli now Prime Minister which of your friends is about to stab you in the back step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to dictate the results of contested elections, we can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free, sir. This is so like you, Gladstone. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of progress than surrender one iota of power. By God, Disraeli, what a fool! I'll not stand idly by and watch you drag parliamentary privilege through the muck. No, certainly not. You'd rather return us to the yoke of tyranny. Perhaps while we're at it, Mr. Gladstone, we could repeal the copper walks around in a fucking circle. How dare you, sir? Don't do it. Don't walk the other way. Government placed in the hands of judges, you would make these slanderous accusations? I'll not stand for it. Then I shall obviate the requirement. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Be, I presume. Once again, when tackle is a mission. Pleasure to meet you, B. B, my name's Herbert. And why are you following the Prime Minister? It's just a job, sir. Some old bloke paid me. Great. I gotta go catch this hoe. Bitch only got one shot off. <laughs> Bloody hell! Where'd you come from? Well, I was born in Crawley, but that's by the by. Who are you working for? Oh, uh, I never got his name. Uh, old chap, big moustache, wore some kind of uniform. Who's ours, maybe? What's his game? Please, you'll kill me. And a three-story drop will shatter your legs and send you to the workhouse. Difference is you can run from him. Tomorrow! to go to attack the Prime Minister's carriage on the way to Parliament. Ah, oh, great. Uh -huh. Perfect. To be honest, I probably still would have tossed the bitch off. Hopefully now I have a couple of more missions for Evie. Nope, only Jacob. Still. God. Hey, plain bodyguard. Anyway. <laughs> Mm, 
be playing for another 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna get off of Assassin's Creed. I realize I didn't really show you guys much, and this probably won't get me on the road to 50 subscribers, but every little bit helps, I suppose. doing so good. No. Thank you. Defended as I head to my next mission. Gold red cloak. Ooh, something for Evie. Cool. It still kind of upset me that I fell for that whole mesmerizing trip. So much for the house call. I have to find a way into that carriage. Prime Minister, I'm your new bodyguard, Jacob Fry. I wasn't informed of any new bodyguard. Who's your commanding officer? Let the boy speak, Dizzy. <laughs> Madam, apologies. But we've learned of a threat on your life. And the Met thought it best to move quickly. Threat? What sort of threat? <gasps> that sort. If you excuse me a moment. Ever just to get up there. Pop a bitch. Fast, 
Now why couldn't I have climbed on that and just drove away? Hey, get back here what the fuck? Dude. Fuck, I got less than a minute to catch up. And take it. And take it. I'm not going to make a fucking minute. Dude, what the fuck, man? You know what? Oh, can't just quit. I can promise you guys that will be the last time I will ever play an old Assassin's Creed game. From now on, the only games you guys want to see and Damn multiplayer. <laughs> that bloody man, he will pay for this. Thank you. What do you intend to do about Gladstone, young man? I assure you, madam, Gladstone is innocent in this. But he tried to kill my husband. Well, we'll look into Gladstone. Perhaps you can help me with another inquiry, madam. A gentleman with ties to Parliament, older, wears cavalry uniforms and has a large mustache. You seem like a rough and ready sort of fellow, Mr. Fry. <laughs> well, yes, I am, actually. And are you familiar with the poorer districts of our city? Roughly. Wonderful. As it happens, I've been eager to tour the Devil's Acre. If you were to escort me, I'd be happy to assist you in your inquiry. 
That strikes me as a dangerous idea. Then it's settled. Come back here to Downing Street tomorrow night, 8 o'clock sharp. Good day, Mr. Fry. But I... Good day, Mr. Fry! Well, seems he's someone's bit for the evening. <sighs> Nonetheless, I got the golden red cloak. For my girl here. Anyway, thanks for tuning in for this really, really boring episode of Assassin's Creed. Hopefully, in the future, I will have more interesting gameplay from different games. Like I said, I won't stream too much of Assassin's Creed because there's no action to it. It's literally just a puzzle type of game. Thanks, guys. Getting ready to start streaming another game. Subscribe. Like. And tune in next time.